Sew Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cute little festive gift tag. These also make great little Christmas tree decorations to use after you've gifted them. Here's what you're going to need to make your Christmas gift tag. First of all, choose the picture that you'd like to have on your gift tag. If you want to follow my design, you could print off my little Robin template from the link in the comments. You need to get yourself a gift tag of some sort. I've got these little cardboard ones, but you could equally cut some out, use an old Christmas card, um, a cereal box, whatever you fancy. I'm going to put some Hetty in on mine to make it look a bit more rustic. And then you want to choose some fabrics that you're going to use for your little design. I've used some felt fabrics here and I've also got some cotton fabrics. For the cotton, I've just ironed off some medium weight interfacing on the reverse just to give it a bit more firmness and stop it from fraying. And then you're going to need your scissors, your sewing machine, and we're going to need some print stick. Let's get sewing. First of all, I've got a black thread in my sewing machine. Um, I just like to use a black thread because it helps me see the detailing of the design that I'm sewing. And now I want to cut out my fabrics. First of all, I'm going to cut a little background for my little um, tag. Now, if you haven't got a tag, you can cut out a simple rectangle shape or you can cut out a little luggage tag shape like this if you want to. There's loads of designs online that you can use. Um, these are little pre-cut ones that I had in my craft stash that I'm using today. And this little craft tag is approximately eight centimeters by 13 centimeters. So I want to begin by giving my little tag a bit of a background for my design to go on. And I'm going to use a bit of scrap hessian that I've got to do this. I like this because it gives it a real rustic um, look. So I'm just going to cut really, really roughly a rectangle slightly smaller than my tag shape. And I'm just going to stitch that to my tag in the centre there. Over time, it will start to fray and that just adds to the rustic feel. So I'm going to stitch that onto my tag first of all. I'm, going, I'm using a standard sewing machine needle here um, and I'm going to use a zigzag stitch to stitch this on. You can use zigzag, you can use straight stitch, whatever you want. I just feel with the hessian, the zigzag is going to um, help it from not fray quite so much. on really roughly not right over the edge because I want it to fray slightly over time to give it a more rustic feel next I'm going to cut out my little robin design so you can print off this template it's linked in the comments below I'm going to use a mixture of um, fabrics here I'm going to use felt for his little body the benefits of using felt is it's nice and sturdy and it's not going to fray at all. So it's really easy to sew on this type of fabric. So I'm just going to cut out my little body shape. Again, you don't need to make this super neat. This is what makes these little craft projects um, fun and unique is the little quirks and individual style. So that's my little Robin's body. So that's going to be sort of stitched over my hessian backing. And then I've got his little tummy here as well. Oops. So I'm going to use a contrasting fabric for his tummy. So I've got this lovely red floral fabric. That's going to be his little tummy. And then this is his little wing at the top here. Or you can have his little wing on his body here. And I'm going to do that, I think, with the green. do two little wings perfect 
So now those are in place and I know where I want them to be, I'm now going to stitch them on. So I'm just going to remove my little wing and my little tummy just to start off. I'm going to keep one wing underneath my little robin there and now I'm just going to stitch my robin where I want him to be on my little gift tag. I'm just going to use a straight stitch for this and I like that look because it gives that sort of sketched look um, on your design and I'm just going to follow the outline of my shape. So on my second go, I'm just going to give him some little legs. So with my needle in my um, work, I'm just going to spin my robin round and just stitch some little legs going down. so far so I stitched all the way around my body shape first then I went round again and as I got to the bottom I did two little legs so I just stitched a line going down and then two little legs coming out I went back up and as I came back to the top I just went over his little wing and then I went over his little wing again just to secure it it gives that nice sketched feel also it makes the line a bit thicker as you sew over so next I'm going to add his little robin red breast so his little red breast, you just decide where you want that to be positioned. And again, I'm just going to stitch him on. We need to add his eye and his little beak now as well. I'm just going to decide if I want to put the other wing. What do you guys think? Maybe I will. all in one place. It's almost like a little triangle and I just keep going over it, moving my needle. looking super cute so on the reverse you will now see you've got all of your thread we want to cover that up because we want to be able to write our to and froms on the reverse of our little tag and I'm also going to change up this little bit of um, string here into something a little bit more festive as well so I've got some pretty red ribbon candy stripe ribbon which I'm going to use to replace this here and I've also got some really really cute little bells so I'm going to add a little bell onto mine as well just as an extra little touch you could also add a little button as well would look really cute so I'm just going to pop that in there and tie a little knot
and we'll get rid of the gift bag. And then I'm just going to cover up those stitch marks on the reverse. So you want to get yourself some more cardboard now or some paper and you just want to measure up on the reverse of your luggage tag. So I'm just going to use another one of these tags but cut off this top edge. And I'm just going to use some ordinary glue, so Pritt stick um, or PVA glue to attach this down. Whatever you've got to hand. And I'm just going to stick that over my stitching on the reverse there. Lining it up carefully. And then you want to put that somewhere to dry. And there you have it. Your very own handmade Christmas gift tag. You could pop on the back to your favourite person from Santa Claus. And how cute is that going to look on your handmade Christmas gifts?